was uh, it was a, a government county, right? And this government county is like, oh, here's our very limited infrastructure. We have a VPN, we have Office 365, we have a couple, you know, like the county website, like just a handful of things, not a whole lot. Um, and what I did find is that they have a self-service portal to where if you're an end user and you're working from home remotely, which COVID, everybody's working from home remotely, um, and you need to reset your password, just go to, you know, governmentwebsite.com slash reset your password. So I found that and I looked at them, oh, that, that's kind of interesting. Um, I pulled off all of their users off of LinkedIn, off of Instagram, off of Facebook that I could find. And it said, oh, hey, if you want to reset this user's password, you need to find two pieces of information about, about this user. One of them was, you know, their favorite color. And the other one was your maternal grandma mother's maiden name or some some something along those lines and so it's like okay well I could probably guess the color um you know because I'm not really limited on guesses I get like five or ten attempts so typically people's favorite colors are going to be orange blue green yellow you know anything on the normal spectrum nobody picks like mauve or indigo or something crazy that's hard to spell and so I basically did a whole bunch of digging through the internet and found this individual's uh grandfather's obituary which included his grandmother's maiden maternal name whatever it may be but basically we, we mined the internet found this obituary and like in the very top corner found this information we were able to use a guest favorite color and that that mother's grandmother's maternal maiden name um, to plug it in reset the user's password and then we were able to access county jail we were able to access public utilities we were able to access the vpn and basically compromise whatever we wanted to on this utility and if you've seen anything involving colonial pipeline is any anything involving public sector governments that have been compromised and ransomware that that's a vector of how basically we got in and what's interesting about that is that if it was just a normal vulnerability assessment where we just did a quick scan to see hey are there any vulnerabilities they would have come back completely clean a bit of a squeaky clean report with nothing there right and that's and that's truly the power of, of adversarial goal-based pen testing is I'm thinking like an attacker, like a nation state adversary would, like, like an actual threat actor would.